Hello, ako po ay si Dean Rodvera at ang pag-uusapan natin na yun, kung pwede bang gamitin ng LTO ang dating yung mga moto vlogs para isuspend o revoke ang yung driver's license? Abangan. Welcome back. Pag-usapan natin yun, ang effect or use of the video blog for the moto vlog as evidence against the suspension or revocation of your driver's license. Ngayon, uh, alam natin, it was recently issued, please look at this photo here, that two motorcyclists had their license revoked dahil they were driving recklessly in Mindanao and it was caught on video. Sabihin, ginamit ng LTO ang video as evidence para iuna i-suspend tapos na-revoke yung mga driver's license. Before that, pag-uusapin natin paano ito nag-umpisa. It all started with Makina, si Zach Lucero, and he made a series of videos regarding TAE content. Meaning, his point of view was na yung mga video, yung mga moto vlogs na nagpapakita na speeding, and Lex Gaming or and Lex or S Lex Gaming for driving excessively or nagsi speed it shows bad form at saka dapat hindi siya gawing content para sa mga moto vlogs. Siyempre ang dami nag-react. May sumasang ayon, merong hindi merong against it. Eventually a few weeks ago, may dalawang may isang video na siyempre kumalat 'yan sa moto vlog industry that they were so against the TAE content angle that they made their own video blog they were racing down in the hills of Mindanao tapos it ended it with the collision of the two motorcyclists the LTO region 9 acted swiftly na gumawa sila ng hearing na call yung mga drivers si motorcycle drivers at una ini suspend or na suspend yung mga licenses nila for 90 days Tapos, nakita natin that only the head of the LTO, the LTO commissioner, is the only one that has the power to revoke the license. The enabling law or yung batas na ginamit para dito ay Republic Act 4136 or the Land Transportation and Traffic Code. The drivers were found violating Section 48. Section 48 reads this. Section 48. Reckless driving. No person shall operate a motor vehicle on any highway recklessly or without reasonable caution considering the width, traffic, grades, crossing, curvatures, and so forth. Also, driving recklessly is endangering the property or safety or rights of any person or to cause unreasonable damage to the highway. So, as you can see from the decision, the uh, LTO said that they were guilty or violating the Section 48 uh, reckless driving rule under the LTO code. Siyempre, bilang abogado, any enabling law or any ba yung mga batas na merong provisions na may punishment or penalty, kailangan may supporting uh, section or article. Pinasa ko naman yung part ng penalty provision ng Republic Act 4136. Surprisingly po, there is no penalty for committing or doing reckless driving. Nevertheless po, the general power of the LTO commissioner, he has the right to suspend or revoke a driver's license. Siyempre, dapat may hearing yun. Ang karapatan or powers ng LTO Commissioner, all he needs is reasonable belief that a person has committed a violation of the act, yung LTO code, or an act na nag endanger sa public. Siyempre, nakita sa video, driving recklessly, racing down the hill, the public, the other motorists, the other people on the road, and even the people walking on the street, baka yung lives nila ay may endanger dahil sa pag-reckless driving na yan. Pero sinabi ko na walang 
penalty specific to reckless driving. If you look at the decision here, the license revoked or parang kinansel yung mga licenses, licenses nila because of section 27, the power of revocation or suspension given to the commissioner. All he needs to do or the, all he needs is to believe that the public is endangered by the reckless driving. Anong implications nito? As stated here in the decision, based on the video seen by the LT officials, may findings na sila na reckless driving. Normally po, when video is used as evidence under the rules of electronic evidence issued by the Supreme Court, for video to be accepted as evidence, kailangan ma-authenticate yung evidence na yan o yung video by the person na nag-shoot ng video or some other person is competent to know that that video is an actual uh, coverage of the incident. Ang danger ho dito is that technically po, walang prescriptive period ang LTO code. Meaning, may dapat ang isang crimen or criminal act, meron siyang time period from discovery or knowledge until uh, prosecution. For example po, yung mga light offenses has a very short prescriptive period. The LTO law, wala hong prescriptive period. So if you think about it po, videos that were from 10 years ago, 8 years ago, pwede bang gamitin as evidence against you for reckless driving? What I can gather po sa batas is that the LTO, if wala silang makitang violation of any law regards to driving, they will renew your license. So technically po, the prescriptive period in the LTO is your license renewal time. Normally po, the old rule was 3 years. Ngayon, may 5, may 10 years. So kung ang license nyo po ay 10 years validity, any video that you did within that 10 years may be used against you for revocation or at the very least, non-renewal. To my viewers, don't get me wrong. I am for the decision of the LTO. Anybody who's been driving recklessly, knowing that they're being filmed, na alam nila na binibideo sila, syempre kailangan parusahan yan. If they are caught, they deserve to be punished. Ang sinasabi ko lang po is that as moto vloggers, kayo po, you have to be careful of what you put. Because if these two people, yung dalawang tao po sa Mindanao, the, their video of their reckless driving was used as evidence against them para ma-revoke uh, yung lisensya nila. They can do the same for all of you. Siyempre, ano na ako, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, I follow a lot of moto vloggers. Sometimes, I see them. They go more than 180 kilometers per hour, nag 200, over 200 pa nga. That can be used as evidence. Ang danger din po is that if you're announcing the date of your video vlog or your moto vlog nyo, at tulad ho last uh, two weeks ago, kung August 30, sasabihin na na, oh, August 30 na yun. I'm here on SLEX, I'm going to the Gaitay. In-announce yung date. So, in theory po, in practicality, any LT official who's watching your video and you gave a date when it happened and it showed in your video how fast you were going, baka gamitin as evidence against you. Kung hindi sa automatic suspension or revocation, baka gamitin yan sa renewal nyo. Let us remember po that our driver's license is a privilege or privilege lang yun. It's hindi siya karapatan. It's not a right. You have no right to drive on the roads dahil una public safety is concerned and driving motor vehicles should be done by competent authorized and educated people hindi ko sabing educated ibig sabihin merong nag driving school or at least knows the driving rules and regulations now showing evidence o yung mga video nyo na nagda-drive kayo na medyo <laughs> medyo mabilis o medyo <clears throat> medyo reckless po baka gamitin nyo ng LTO. And they have every right to see the videos on YouTube or whatever platform you're using, the videos can be used against you. Buti na lang po, because of Makina, uh, there is a drive po to restore faith and confidence in the 
motorcycle community. Hopefully, we can uh, uh, continue with this example and show with the officials and the public that we respect the road and we follow the driving rules po. Maraming salamat. Hi, please do me a favor and smash that like button. It'll help me a lot and it will trigger the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't, my dog will eat this exam booklet and that student has to repeat his final exam again.